Hi everyone and welcome back to the Skahoi YouTube channel. Today we'll take a look at how we can control multiple Rust pivot cams from a standard Skahoi controller. But I also have super exciting news, something called cruise control. And this is a feature that will enable you and your one-man band with robotic cameras to create even more engaging footage. One of the issues you will have normally is that when you release one camera, it just stands still and then you go to the next camera to prepare that. Cruise control solves it, makes it look like you have multiple PDC operators. So I'm quite excited about that. And we'll, uh, of course, take a look at the PDC Pro, one of our flagship PDC controllers, really nice dedicated controller for PDC cameras and uh, how that works with this whole setup. So I have two pivot cams right here. I have a uh, standard camera selector with up to five cameras set up right here. There are three buttons dedicated to the cruise control feature. But let's first take a look at the uh, operation of cameras. And I'll set a few presets to introduce those of you who might not have seen how our controllers work. Um, let's do that. So standard stuff, we have uh, camera one and camera two. I'm now moving camera one here. Okay, let me just do this a little more smooth. So we just operate the camera. We zoom a little bit by turning the knob of the handle here. Okay, so let's say we go to this position. Now we want to record a preset, okay? So I press and hold key number one. It turns green, it means now we are recorded. So I'm now going, going to zoom out a little bit, like this. Uh, this will be my primary shot, right? And then I record that on preset number two. So I have two presets, and I go to uh, the one preset there, I, I go to the second preset here. So this is fourth and back. You'll know presets if you know robotic cameras. That's super... Um, uh, standard stuff on these cameras, very important of course. We go to the second camera, so I use the camera selector to select camera 2 and obviously I can now move this camera around. I can also record a preset here. Uh, maybe preset 1 is going to be a primary shot, so record it and then we focus on the Airfly Pro controller here. Yes, record that on preset 2. I'll move over to the um, RCP here on preset 3. Let's check that this got recorded. So preset number one, camera is recording. Preset number two, yeah, and number three. All is good. So um, this section, the menu section, will give you access to exposure of the cameras. You can see we have manual mode for the selected camera. If I go between the two, one of them is in auto mode. So let's bring that back to manual. So we can actually shade the cameras and um, then I, I go to the second camera. So you will see that I can change shutter speeds uh, on these cameras or iris, which is probably more like what you want to do. By the way, you could map that to an RCP. The RCP you see in the picture right now would be able to shade your cameras as well. That's the takeaway for any Skahoi controller. Remember that the software we put into these controllers is applicable to any of our hardware. So even though you see it on a PDC Pro, you can also map it to an RCP. Always just send us a question. We love to ask your questions about how you can flexibly use our controllers in your broadcast situations. Now, uh, I move on to white balance. You see we have uh, manual mode, we have auto mode, white uh, tracking modes, and basically all the modes in your camera. Because what? Because when we integrate with robotic cameras, we, we put a lot of effort into actually supporting the features that the manufacturer put into these cameras. So you have almost like a native controller for your camera. So uh, color parameters here, image parameters, and if we go down to uh, user key number one, we put in speed for pan tilt zoom and speed for focus. This is a focus knob, so if we uh, use manual focus, we can use this knob to uh, adjust that. Now, um, I think the, the exciting thing is the cruise control that I want to show you. It's a unique feature on Skahoi controllers. I uh, am very thrilled to show you, and uh, let's move right on to it. So the idea is this, that um, we can basically make the camera move automatically for a period of time while we set up another camera. So look at this. I am now on camera two, okay? So let's say that on camera two, I will make, um, I'm, I'm on camera two now. And uh, so I begin to make a slow pan, right? So we have, let's say it's a concert. We make a pan across the stage. I now press the cruise control button. Look, the camera moves by itself, okay? for a period of time and then it shuts down. We set a delay of five seconds, okay? So let's try it again. I move over here. I'm sorry about the shaky image, it's my table. Um, not the best setup. I can't recommend that for any serious recording, of course, but 
uh, let's move it again. So slow pan across the stage. I press the button. It just moves on its own. And it stops. Okay, let's see if this goes for camera two as well. Camera one, I'll just make a slow, um, slow zoom. Okay, it is zooming out. And it stops. Now, I would love to tell you that it stopped because it didn't reach the end, but yeah, and there you see it could actually go even further. So it did stop because my controller stopped the camera. Now, let's try to combine this. So, uh, we do the opposite now. We make a slow zoom in on something. Okay, and then I go to camera two. Now, on camera two, I recall a preset like that. We had the preset, and then we would make a cut to that preset before it stops moving. So of course, what you need is to set up your controller to have a significantly large delay on uh, stopping the camera. That would re um, be related to your typical period of setting up a second camera and making the switch on your production system. But let's try it again. Okay, we're now on camera two. I'll make slow zoom, Start it here, go to camera one, recall a preset, and now assuming that we also um, um, switch to that on the vision mixer, we would have a second shot set up before the first shot stopped zooming in. And that's cruise control. That's basically automatically moving, keeping your PDC cameras move nicely while you set up a second camera and cut to that one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the pivot cam with cruise control applicable for all PDC cameras that we can control on our controller. So it's, it's like a um, camera or manufacturer wide feature that is uh, not specifically for Ross Pivot Cam, but applicable to any uh, camera that we support with our controllers. Uh, so um, you, even if you don't sit with the Ross Pivot Cam, you can um, uh, get excited about this feature. And best of all is that it's available also for all of you who already have our controllers. So it's not something you need to pay additional for. It is a software feature that makes your Skyhawk controller purchased yesterday even more valuable today. Mm -hmm.